So my name is Conrad and I'm the Director of Expedition Planning and Strategic Development for Silver Sea Expeditions and I look after the expedition program part of what we do at Silver Sea Cruises and I look after a fleet of four expedition ships planning unique voyages that cover seven continents and over 400 destinations around the world. So expedition cruising in my mind really is about the destinations and it's how we interpret the destination you know a lot of the destinations that we visit with our expedition ships are also visited with regular tours or normal cruising but it's what we actually do at these destinations that set an expedition apart from a regular cruise or a land tour or just a tour on your own i really believe that expedition cruising gives the modern day traveler an opportunity to visit some of the most remote destinations on our planet, Antarctica, Svalbard, but it doesn't have to be that remote, you know, it could be uh, St Kilda and the Outer Hebrides. It is about learning about the destinations from an onboard expedition team, lecture staff that specialize in their topics. It becomes more about the destination than the ship. The ship, in our case, is a luxury platform, you know, in the past expedition travel used to be on very, very basic ships, uh, bunk beds, shared facilities, pretty bad food. And with Silver Sea Expeditions, we use luxury ships to go to these remote destinations. Most of the time, when you lead an expedition, you see something that you've not seen before. The destinations that we visit, such as Antarctica, will be experienced differently every single time you go. It is impossible to go to these destinations and take it all in the first time. So even though we're, you know, expedition travel is group travel um, and you have between 100 and 200 guests traveling with you on these expedition ships, the ships are maneuverable and the itineraries are very, very flexible. So if we do come across, for instance, a part of Wales, it's very easy for us to stop the ship and do whale watching. So expedition travel is very, very flexible. You do not have a set itinerary. Many of the places that we visit, you know where you're going to be the first day and the last day. And whatever happens in between, the captain and the expedition leader will make up depending on the wildlife, depending on the weather, and depending on what they find out there. And even where it's a little bit more set, the itineraries, the experiences are very unique every single time we go to places. For instance, Papua New Guinea. You know, every time you go onto these islands in New Guinea, you don't really know what you're going to find there. These are not touristy destinations. We do not have buses lined up waiting for us to take us on a panoramic city tour. We deal with local tribes here. It is the only way to get to some of these destinations that we're talking about. Unless you've got a lot of time and a lot of money to try and do it on your own. Now an expedition cruise is not inexpensive by no means, absolutely not but it's incredibly good value for money. We have done all the work, all the research, so we know what to do when we get there, and we do it in a comfortable, safe environment. 